What's going on guys, Epicure here, back with another video. Today I'll be playing with Witness Chris, and I'll be showing you guys the best setting for anti-recoil mod on the Strike Pack. I'll be testing out on Vesper, because we all know this gun is mad crazy with this recoil, and I'll make as close as I can to an MA or a laser beam. So we'll start off, what you have to do is master reset your controller. Hold down the D-pad, you have to wait till the light bar turns off. And when the light bar does turn off, you press options, and your controller should vibrate. Now, there is no more LED lights and I'm still on mod mode. By doing this mod, if you guys do want to have anti-recoil on, you have to remember, you cannot have any rapid fire on because it does mess with the recoil. To set it up is hold the left D-pad, where you hold the left D-pad, you have to wait until your LED light goes to the third slot or say yours is on the first slot, you would have to press square, you would have to press square, go to the third slot. Now when you're on the third slot, you have to press triangle one time. When you press triangle one time, this thing will be blinking. Now what you will have to do is press L1 28 times. This is at 28 times. This gun is mad crazy with the recoil. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So now you have pressed 28 times. I do have a Vesper with no grip on. You guys do see that one attachment, but it's only extendo mags, so it's okay. Starting off with short, short distance, short range. I'm going to aim at Chris's chest, and now this is with the mods turned on. You guys can see it does sway left and right. You can't do nothing about that. So when you guys do go in a multiplayer game, you guys will be running around, jumping off walls, and moving your R3 like this. But in here, I'm showing you guys without me moving my R3 at all, just aiming and shooting. So it will go left to right. Like I said, can't do nothing about that. Sorry, not sorry. All right, so now we're going medium range. I'm aiming at his chest one more time, and let's shoot. Now this is with mods again. Alright guys, so now we tested the short range, we tested the medium range, now this is the long range. You cannot hold down a thing. A Vesper is a Vesper, is a submachine gun, it's not an M8, so you're gonna have to deal with that. But again, this is only for short and medium range. So now I'm showing you guys what it looks like without any mods. There is no lights, there is no mods on this controller right now. So now here's the recoil without any mods. I'm gonna aim at his chest one more time, not using R3 at all. Again, look at it. I did the same thing with with the mods on, you guys can see. It's not even shooting at him. You like like where's it going? It's it has like really a, a mind of its own. Now you guys saw what happened short range. Now let's see if there's any difference with medium range. Okay. What? Yep, you guys can see that there is no mods. That is what it looks like without any mods on. I don't think we should even test long range. Jeez, dude. Still specialist? Wait. <laughs> so now you guys seen what the Vesper does without any mods and mods turned on. Short, medium, and long range. Now, of course, you can add long barrel, extendo, quick draw grip attachments that would help you out to make this gun even better than it is all right so there you guys have it that is what the vesper looks like with the mods turned on and off short medium and long range you guys could obviously tell that the vesper is best short and medium range and it should be because this vesper is a submachine gun it's not going to be an ma it's not going to be assault rifle ever where there you guys have it this is the best I found for the Vesper short and medium range. Not so much long range, but you never get a Vesper shoot like a beam, like a assault rifle would. Leave a like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.